Hello, welcome back to my home. This here is my outdoor worm bin at my house. It's not outdoors right now, although it probably will be getting moved back out soon. We had some freezing weather, and so it's been in here all winter, actually, because of the, the cold. And when it first started freezing, I went ahead and brought it in just to protect the worms. But the reason for this video is... Has this ever happened to you? You open up your worm bin and find worms all over the side. And I've heard people say in many videos that the worms are trying to escape. There's something wrong with the soil. There's something wrong in your bin. The worms are trying to escape. And I just want to let you know that if this is what you're finding, that, that do, it don't mean... That the worms are trying to escape. Can you see the difference here and down here? That difference is moisture. I accidentally closed this lid on my bin. Normally I keep it propped open just a little bit with a stick. I put a little stick right here and then when I close the bin it lets air get in there and it keeps the sides dry. Keeps the worms from going down, but last night I left, I closed the bin. I went to uh, close the curtains, and when I did, I had to, to close my lid in order to close the curtains. And when I closed the lid, I'd never thought about it. And so whenever I just walked in here and seen the lid was open, I knew what I was going to find when I opened it up. I knew I was going to find a bin with worms all over the side they've been up on the side all night long what what is good about this is it's been one day exactly about 24 hours and you can see how many castings are on the side of this bin so you can see how many castings a worm actually makes in a day you can also see how many mites this bin has there's a lot of mites on on the side too i didn't think this bin had that many mites but they are all up on the side but so the moisture on the side of the bin is what will cause these worms to want to crawl up the side of the bin. It's not that they're trying to escape your bin. It's just that they really love that moisture. And evaporated moisture seems to be their favorite moisture. For those who know, know science and the science of evaporation. Evaporated moisture is, is clean. It, it's pure water when it evaporates. So, um, that must be why they like it so much. I'm not sure. But, I know when it, with my plastic on top of the bin, they love to get up by that plastic and capture that recirculated moisture. And I'm guessing that's why they like to get on the sides of the bin whenever the evaporation moisture gets on the side of the bin too. Uh, to prevent this from happening, don't put a lid on your totes. If you use a tote for your worms, don't put a lid on it. Instead, cover your soil. Don't cover your bin. And that's the way to avoid having escaping worms. Cover the soil, don't cover the bin. I know there are some people who have pets and whatnot, and so they cover the bin because of that reason. Um, I would say I would still cover the soil, and that will help hold some of the moisture down. But likely, if you cover cover the bin... You are going to have a trouble. You are going to have trouble with 
worms on the side of your bin, which is not in and of itself that big of a deal, but I don't like it. I would rather them be down in the dirt where the food is. And I don't like the idea of them getting up over the edge, falling out onto right now what would be carpet and drying out and costing them their lives. So I would much rather them not be on the sides. So we're going to leave this bin open, let the sides dry, dry back out, and let them get back down into their dirt. But there are times when you do have a problem in your bin. And how you know when that happens, is when there's a problem in your bin that's causing your, your worms to evacuate, is all your worms will come up to the surface. If you have something down on your bin, they'll come up along the sides. Anywhere they can squeeze through, and they come completely out of the dirt, and they just mass up all on top of the soil. And they use their own moisture to keep themselves moist out on top of the surface and you just end up with a massive a massive worm ball up on top of the surface if you have a big massive worm ball on the surface of your dirt that means they're avoiding the dirt and so that would be a good time to pull them out of that bin put them somewhere safe and find out what's going on with your dirt most of the time, it's not pH or moisture or something like that. Most of the time, it's that you've put something in there that has caused it to get hot uh, as it breaks down. You know, le uh, green leafy matter or something, you know, too much food breaking down and as it's breaking down it's creating a lot of heat and it's getting too hot for the worms so they go up to the surface to get cooled off and then they end up in that big massive worm ball that way they have some moisture between all the worms being slimy like they are that moisture will help them survive until hopefully you check on your bin and find them and are able to save them before they dry out and uh, that's all I have to say about the worm bin today, this particular one. I just noticed this problem I had, thought it was a good topic to make a, you know, just to give a little bit more worm information and what it means when you see worms all over the side of your bin. They're not trying to escape because they don't like you or they don't like your dirt. They just really, really like the moisture up on the walls. So try to keep that moisture off your side walls, and you won't end up with this kind of an issue. Alright, that's all for today. I'm going to check on the other worms, and uh, I did make a, a video yesterday at the shop, feeding the worms at the shop. It wasn't a very good video, but I'm probably still going to upload it, so you might look out for that one tomorrow. And I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode yesterday when I made it. So I got a notification in the middle of it. So it broke it into two parts. I got to get better at this. And I will. But so yesterday's video, I'll upload it tomorrow and it will be in two parts. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of information about what it means when you get worms all over the side of your bin. And we'll see you on the next time. On the next one. Next time. Have a good one. Bye.